Okay, hello. I always wave my hand under there so that I can see on the screen if I'm actually up. Um, all right, so I decided I wanted to do another paint pour. Um, I have mixed up the paint. We're going, I've got my, a cup turner. I have not tried yet that I got in and I wanted to try that out. So I thought it would be fun for us to try it out together. Okay, so I have taken my bottle and I'm just using these um, leftover drink bottles. We wash them out and then use them for crafts and I'm just using these for now. Um, so I have taped up around the mouth of it. I just used some scotch tape. I'm hoping that's gonna hold enough. And I've got it on the cup turner as tight as it will go. Um, I've cleaned it with alcohol to make sure that I got rid of any oils and fingerprints and anything. And then I have mixed up my paint. And this time, instead of a dirty pour, we're gonna do a clean pour. So, let's see. Well, it would help if I had plugged in the cup turner. I spent all this time trying to work out the logistics of having a place to move it to. And I've got a lot of paint here, so uh, it mixed up more than I intended. So I've got a second canvas to pour on when we get done with this one. Um, okay. So, you know, we should be plugged in and it is turning. Okay, great. So now I've got metallic gold. These are all acrylic paints, uh, copper and brown, red and orange. So I'm going to just start. This paint is pretty thick. I may need to water it down some more, um, but we'll see. So I'm just going to use my popsicle stick and just put a little on. It will turn, it will drop. I've got a canvas sitting underneath my bottle. Yeah, you know what? This is not moving a lot. It's a little too thick. I'm gonna need to add a little water to it. Can't add a lot of water because my cups are getting close to full, but just A moment I'll be right back okay I'm back and I just grabbed a, a bottle out of a box of empty bottles that we have and put some water in it we saved these because we're going to be doing some craft projects with the empty bottles no use put them in a landfill if we can do something fun with them give them a second purpose okay let me see if I can stir this water in without making too much of a mess okay it's gonna be a lot runnier yeah this is gonna be a lot runnier okay Just like mixing resin. Now I'm gonna move my cups off my canvas here and I will mix each one as I use it for the first time. There we go. So I'm gonna try the orange again. We're doing what is called a clean pour. It's where you pour each color separately. I'm using a popsicle stick just so I don't cover it just yet. But do not worry, we will be using all of the paint. Okay, now there is my set that here on the canvas for a second while I grab a baby wipe and get the side of my cup up here so it's not dripping all over the table. 
Okay. Then we will go with some copper. Again, it's water sitting on top, so I'm mixing it down in. It changes the color so it's not as metallic as it was. Not as deep a color either. Okay, I'm just gonna put some in there. Put some more. See if I can get down there and get make sure that there's nothing thick sitting in the bottom. Great thing about this is that the bottle is constantly turning, so I'm going to put some back here on the back, the bottom of the bottle to encourage some more to run over it. Probably might have added a little too much water. I might have overcompensated here. Okay, and again. Just wiping off the lip of the cup here. And then I'm going to grab the red, which is extremely watery on top, but I haven't mixed it in yet. So here we go. Here we go. Okay. I like to keep from having too much. Don't want the colors to totally blend in. Okay. Turn a little muddy down at the bottom. This needs a little better mix. Okay, you know what I have got? Hang on. Cup empty. This cup is empty. I am going to. I think I overcompensated with the water, put too much. So I'm going to remove some of this. And I'm going to go ahead with the brown and do the same thing while it's mostly water at the top. Remove some of that. There we go. Let's see if the brown gives me a better. better thickness. If it does, I'm going to pour off some of the liquid off the other colors and maybe add in some more paint to kind of thicken that up. Maybe bring the colors back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That is much better. I like the way that's reacting better. So, like I said, trial and error. I am certainly not a pro at any of the crafts that I try, but I certainly enjoy trying them out and learning. There. Dirty pores, I know, work nice on these things, but okay. Now, I think I'm going to pour out. Let's see, I poured out some of the red, so I'm going to just add a little more paint to it. Do not worry. I can only do the one bottle because my cup is going to have to stay on the cup turner until it dries, but I can keep swapping canvases out here. 
And this time I used a stretched canvas, so it's stretch over a frame. So I don't need to worry about the warping. tablecloth. I don't know why I'm even worried about it. I'm going to pour off some of this copper and then add a little more paint to it to add a little more consistency. And we buy paint around here. I don't even bother with those little bitty ones at the Dollar Tree because we just go through so much paint. I have two kids that love to paint and they're not very light handed with the brush. So we end up with a lot of paint around here. And we paint everything. I mean, the kids will go pick up things outside in the woods and bring them home and paint them. Um, and it's amazing to me. I mean, they'll come up with ideas for painting that I hadn't thought of, and believe me, I'm one to want to put paint on everything myself. Um, let's see. I think I want to get a little more orange going in here. Maybe up in here. Now, of course, it is not going to look anything like it looks now by the time it's done turning and drying because it is constantly moving while it is turning and drying. This is a nice creamy consistency. I think this will be really nice. Okay. Okay. And I may add just a little more red up here. and a little gold, and I think I'm gonna be ready to call it. Okay. See, it does not take a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna let this drip for a couple of minutes before removing the cup turner, and then we'll work on the canvas. Okay. All right, this gold just did not hold its color that well. Okay. And this is that cup that I was using. Okay. So I'm gonna stop the camera for a second so you guys don't have to sit and watch this thing just turn around and drip and don't have to watch me while I'm shuffling. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All right, so I've removed the cup turner, moved it over to another tray with some freezer paper under it because there still will be drips and I can make use of those drips in, as acrylic skins for jewelry. As you see, I have my freezer paper under here and I have a couple little cups here so that the drips, let's see, there we go. All right, so now we have some paint here, and I may end up, it's pretty runny, so I may not need to add any to it, but we're gonna try to move it around. And see what kind of designs we get out of it. Yeah, now this paint has a lot more glue in it than the one that I did previously. So the colors are holding a lot better and not 
running together so much. I think we're going to need a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is just popsicle stick some in. So I can keep kind of nice little thin lines and not end up with great big puddles. Give me some orange. And again, take some popsicle stick. I'm gonna go around, try to pick up the drops so I don't have them running down the cup sitting on my... And we'll add some brown in there. Again, stir it up. Make sure I don't have any lumps sitting at the bottom of the cup that could be nice and thick for this. And we will go running some more around. Sure, I get plenty on the canvas. Do some on the sides so that it'll encourage the colors to run over the sides too. I hate the look of these stretched canvases when they don't carry the design of the painting onto the sides, where they just paint the sides black or white or a solid color when they've got all this movement of color happening on the front. I want to see that over on the sides. And that's just a pet peeve of mine. So, when I am doing an abstract painting like this, I always try to take the paint around the sides. Now, right now I'm just doing this with the brown, but this will encourage the design as I get to the edges to run over the side and carry the colors and the movement over the side of the painting. So it'll break that. That boundary that the paint seems to have when it gets to the edge that surface tension. Okay, so I've done that with the brown enough. Again, I'm scooping up the sides here. I don't want a whole lot of paint dripping down the outside of the cup onto the table. Um, okay, I've got red. We're going to add some of the red in. We'll add some gold and copper in, and then we'll start moving the painting again, tilting it around, see what we can encourage to happen here. I've always loved abstract work. You take me to a art show or something and I'll enjoy the flowers and the landscapes and the portraits but I will really get hung up on the abstracts. Okay, some copper. And I'll just uh, talk a little bit more here while we do this. And then I'm going to start tilting it around. There you go. It's so one of the great things about YouTube is that I can sit and watch these abstract painters just work and work and work, and I could sit and watch that for hours. And I do, actually, sometimes. 
my husband says, don't you get bored just watching them splatter paint everywhere? And I was like, no. <laughs> Look at what the paint does. It has a mind of its own. That's what I love about the fluid art, you know, with the paint pours and everything, is that the paint just seems to do what it wants to do. Okay, I'm going to go down, around the corner there. And I want to bring it back this way. Really don't want any negative space here on this one. I didn't put a base coat down, which I guess I should have, but I didn't. So I do not want negative space. All right, then I'm gonna move it down. See how it's, I don't know if you can see, see how it's going over the sides, the color is going over the sides. I'll encourage that by getting the sides wet with paint. And then, around, down towards this corner, make sure I get that good. Keep going, keep going. There's just a little bit of weight I want covered. And then back down this way. And in the meantime, the paint is just creating these wonderful swirls and dots and feathering. And I mean, it's just doing what it's gonna do. Now, this channel is not going to be all resin and fluid art. Um, I get a whole lot of other crafts. Um, we want to do some, some crafts with uh, some of the things that we find outside. And the fall is such a great time to find all kinds of wonderful things outside because you've got all the different cones from different trees and shrubbery and seed pods and just all kinds of things that dry up nicely that you can use. All right. Now, I think, looking at the sides, making sure I've got all the, yeah. All the design that I need. I think there was just a little bit of white there. Yeah. And right there. Now, I've got this sitting up on these little cups um, so that the sides don't sit in a puddle of paint as the paint runs off. And the paint will kind of level off and, and run off. There's going to be a whole bunch of paint sitting here on the side. Um, and we still have a lot of paint left, so I have another canvas. And I will be right back after I set up the camera over on that side of the table. Here is the bottle after it's dried. It's still on the turner. I'm going to take it off the turner and then we'll come back. Okay, so here it is. I have taken the tape off of it. I'm gonna need to take a razor right up there around the, uh, around the lip and make a cleaner edge. And we will be coming back and, whoops, let's see, since, let me turn this this way. We will be coming back and you will get to see what else I do with this bottle because, um, this is not like a water bottle or something that you'd use to drink out of. It's going to be decorative, so I'm going to do a little something else to the top. And we will also be putting a coat of resin on this to um, harden it up, make sure that the paint doesn't scrape off, and give it a nice shine.